The man convicted of killing a California family learns his fate. His sentencing comes nearly a decade after their death in a case that gripped the nation. One America's Bobby Dupree has more. A California man is sentenced to death in what's widely known as the McStay family murders. No amount of posturing from attorneys or anything else is going to change the facts. And the facts are he's guilty, and that's it. Case closed. It was a case that puzzled law enforcement for years. The disappearance of 40-year-old Joseph McStay, his wife Summer, and their two young children, 3-year-old Joseph Jr. and 4-year-old Gianni. They went missing back in 2010, last seen by a neighbor's surveillance camera pulling out of the driveway of their Fallbrook home. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department searched their residence, finding no signs of foul play. A carton of eggs left on the counter and two child-sized bowls of popcorn left on the sofa by the TV. Authorities struggled to find leads and at one point the Sheriff's Department claimed the mixed days left for Mexico. We felt that, you know, there was a possibility that, that uh, it was a strong possibility that they left voluntarily and it was no coercion at all. Authorities even circulated video footage of an unknown family crossing the border on foot, but they later proved it wasn't the mixed days. The case went unsolved for years until 2013, when a motorcyclist found two shallow graves in the Mojave Desert, over 100 miles away from the mixed day family home. Authorities later charged Joseph's business partner, Charles Chase Merritt, with the killings. No smoking gun. Um, this is basically uh, a team of investigators that had to go over San Diego's investigation, start over, look at everybody, eliminate people, and when we followed the evidence, it led us to Charles Merritt. Police claim Merritt bludgeoned the family with a sledgehammer before burying them, noting he owed Joseph McStay a significant amount of money. Investigators say they traced his cell phone to the desert in the days after the family disappeared. They claim Merritt hacked into the family's bank account, stealing thousands of dollars, and also called QuickBooks, impersonating Joseph McStay and requested it delete his activity records. After a more than four-month trial, Merritt was convicted of killing the family of four. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Charles Ray Merritt, guilty of the offense of murder in the first degree. Tuesday, Merritt was sentenced to death. During the sentencing, the victim's family addressed the court. This despicable, evil monster had brutally beat my family. How could you beat two precious little babies? Chase, you are a low-life coward and a baby killer and label that. You have proven this to the world. I hope you burn hell. Despite Merritt's death sentence, California hasn't executed anyone since 2006, and the state's Democrat governor signed an executive order last year halting the death penalty, at least while he's in office. Bobby Dupree, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube, and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.